What if Origins released in Cold War Zombies? Well, we can spawn him with an MG-08, which is already pretty damn OP. For our Max's drone part. We have a Wonder Fizz machine in the spawn, which is nice. This is like the Cold War Wonder Fizz, though. And I think it's a random perk each time. You don't actually get to choose. So it's kind of like Black Ops 2 in a way. Then we have an ammo box here, which we can buy ammo for our guns, obviously, just like in Cold War. I'm going to turn this generator on immediately. Oh, we have our X fill in the spawn right here. Oh my god, the MG-08 sounds like a machine. Holy shit. Did it always sound like this? We've got Quick Revive. Is 2,500? Oh yeah, your first perk is 2,500 on Cold War, isn't it? So I suppose it makes sense. But I'm kind of curious. We're going to try and get one of the staffs and see what it's like if we were to get a staff in Cold War, basically. Now, as you can see from the slaps, we can take a lot more damage than you usually can on Black Ops 2. You know, I'd be dead there. A link to this mod will be in the description below. Also, as you can see on the wall, we can buy an uncommon M14. So the rarity of the war weapons and the box weapons, I think it increases the same as in Cold War, like every five, ten rounds or something. And then the price of the weapon probably also increases. So let's grab our double points here and go for some melees. Oh, we have we have zombie blood. I actually put on Ether Shroud this time instead of Ring of Fire because we've used that in the last couple of videos where we use this mod already at 4,400 points. Let's go. Well, we've got no snow yet, which is a little bit tragic, but it's fine. That's the round done. It's round four and we have snow finally. Okay, so if we could open up the map, we can maybe get our ice staff parts done. Scouting around for this uh, shield part. We got a nuke, that would be kind of awful. We got a Remington. I'll take that, I suppose. What rarity is it? It's a blue Remington? What the fuck? Wait, that's actually really, really good. And we got a Mauser. I mean, you know, I love the Mauser on this game, but... Oh, we have another Wonder Fizz machine here. Maybe it's... Every single one activates, or it's completely random. Another ammo box there, of course. We'll go ahead and turn on this generator. You know, I might keep this Remington. Like, getting a blue rarity weapon right now is pretty good. We have working salvage system as well. So, like, when we kill these zombies, you can see they're dropping stuff. This is, like, salvage for little max ammos. And obviously, on the bottom left, you can see as well. We've got our shield par is somewhere around here. Oh, there's no shield on this right. I forget. Yeah, they don't have a shield, which is totally fine, you know. Uh, we're going to get our ice staff part. We did. Let's go. Uh, we might as well turn on Gen 2 as well. I'm not sure where the salvage station's going to be. Also, I'm pretty sure we're definitely running faster. I was, like, theorizing in Mob of the Dead if this mod made us run faster. It definitely does. Oh, and they dropped salvage as well. That's neat. Uh, oh, yes, we want to go and get our ice disc from over here. Uh, what's going to be in here? A zombie blood? Sure. Ice disc got. Oh, my God. What is that? Is that Carpenter? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I forgot they completely changed the model. It looks all funny. Got our diggy spot. Yeah, mud is so much better in this just because of the fact we moved so much faster. We definitely appreciate that. We just need to get, please, ice staff part. Yes, there we go. Go towards Gen 6. Hopefully we can get our last one and then we can go and build it like basically this round almost. Yep. <laughs> well, that was easy. Actually, no, we can't get it this round because we have to uh, open up the middle and that costs like 2,000, right? I think. We have the Cold War um, point system as well, which means that it's based on like how much damage we're dealing or well, basically like headshots and melees are the same price or like they give you the same amount. It's like 115 points. So look here, 115, but melee also 115. And that is the round. So I wonder how the pans is going to be considering, you know, we have pretty beefy weapons for right now. Oh, we've got blood money. Let's go. I think we can afford the door now. Oh, we've got that fire plane. I mean, we might as well shoot it because why not? I mean, we're not going for the fire staff, but you know. It is what it is, dude. Oh, we got a Maxis drone part. Oh, we got our disc. Perfect. Oh my god, we got everything. Um, I'm actually gonna get the nuke because we don't need to be like keeping the rounds. Gramophone here, place this down. Now I'm actually gonna go and turn all these things to ice or whatever. Like I'm gonna turn them all blue really quickly just because it will save us some time so that's one that's two so when we go and upgrade our ice staff you know it's all basically sorted oh we've got to go back up here turn this one boom that's blue and then this should be the last one it's nice that you can jump up and do this from on this platform yeah there we go all of them are blue i kind of want to keep the mg08 you know but at the same time i do like the remington shotgun it is it is pretty nice oh we didn't pick up the gramophone i knew I'm so glad I remembered now because we would have gone all the way and had to go back. We could just go grab that ice staff crystal. Pans are spawning in two rounds. So as long as we have enough points for jug, ideally by then we should be fine. Oh, it just feels so smooth running around. I love it. I've not seen the, uh, the salvage thingy yet. We've got obviously this wonder fizz thing. It's probably going to be in the crazy place now I think about it. The, um, the salvage thingy where we can actually upgrade our weapon. Like it would just make sense if it was in there. Here we go. Got the ice. 
portal done. Uh, grab this crystal. Oh, there's an ammo thing over there. I don't see it around. Go ahead and teleport. We can go make our ice staff already. We've got a double points. This is huge. Shotgun's actually good because, you know, it doesn't matter. We don't get points for um just hitting the zombies regularly. And we've got an insta-kill, so let's stay in here for a second. It's so nice being able to play Origins and just, like, give no fucks. Like, just literally run around doing whatever you want. Oh, God, the portal broke. I'm stupid. I forgot it runs out after a while. Max ammo, okay. Right, here we go, in we go. I'll keep the gramophone there because we're gonna have to go back in there anyway and we might as well just do it that way. Um, we can turn on Gen 6 real quick. Also, there's no HUD for like filling up the generator, but it's fine, I guess. Get that part, fire staff, we've got two out of uh, four of them. See if this last Maxis drone is over here. There's like a part somewhere around here, right? Yeah, here we go. Boom, that's all of the Maxis drone parts. Turn on this so we can buy Jug. It's actually worthwhile killing these guys because they dropped salvage. So, um, there we go. We can buy Jug now. Boom, gimme. And we don't even have to drink it as well. It just happens instantly. It's great. Build this Maxis drone really quick. Gimme, gimme. We're just getting everything done so quickly. Honestly, yeah, we spawned in with the MG08. It's an amazing gun, but, like, I'm gonna keep the Remington. I show our shotgun boy some love, you know? And here is the max ammo, like, the ammo thing. I wonder if we can buy ammo for the, um, what's it called? The staffs. That would be interesting. I guess we'll find out now. Boom! Ice staff acquired. Can we? We can! It's 10,000, though. I mean, okay. Valid. Fair enough. It would be ridiculously expensive if they're gonna let you do that. I'm not seeing where we upgrade our weapons, though. Maybe it's Gen 5, because that's the only place we've not been to yet. Boom! That's all six generators done. We might as well kill these zombies. We've got nothing to keep them around for, so... Oh, I guess we could have done our ice staff upgrade. Eh, uh, whatever. I guess I'm blind or something because I just don't know where this is. Also, let's not go down here. We have our ether shroud if needed. Ow, slapping me. There are way more zombies, I think. This looks like way more than 24, but who knows. Pew, 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 Oh, God. Um, E and F. Okay, we ether shrouded. We're fine. Ooh, this is cool. Yeah, it makes our screen all, like, bluey. Uh, we'll go for a random perk while we're here. Actually, no, let's go buy Speed Cola, because this is going to be really useful for when we have the Panzer. Plus the exact same anyway, so. Oh, and it makes us swap weapons faster. That's so clean. Just look how fast that is, bro. Oh, this is where it is. So we can upgrade here. Upgrade weapon. So we can't afford it yet, obviously, but armor... Oh, yes, baby. We got tier one armor. That's huge because we, you know, we really need that. I had a feeling it would be like in the church or somewhere like towards the end of the map, you know? Right, let's do this ice staff part. I do not remember how to do this. So one, two is... Let me just pull up my cheat sheet real quick. Should be the two lines, I think. So that one. And then this one is two, two. That's L1. Uh, where's L1? L1 is this. This is just how I say it in my head. Uh, 101 is LL, which is this one over here. 21 is 1L, which is that one. Um, this one is two dots. It would be L, which means the last one. Hey, L, just like Death Note. Let's go. Okay, and that's all boom done. Now, I forget what we have to do next. It's pretty simple, though, right? We just have to go shoot some things or something. Okay, good. We're not getting crushed by the damn foot the second we step out of there. That would, that would suck. I remember the wind wand. We, we'd have to shoot fire things. Um, ooh. Oh, the graves. Right, I remember now. So one of the graves should be right here. I missed. Nice. Good job, me. Shoot that. Okay, the Remington works. Thank God. Next grave over here. Boom. And then this last grave should, yep, it's all the way over here. Wow, you can actually shoot it from there. No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> it has a slight range. Boom. Uh, hello. There we go. Now, we're going to keep hold of our ice staff just for now, because to do the last step, we have to, well, obviously shoot the orb in the center. We can go do that now. But then we need to fill up with souls, and we don't exactly have, like, a packet punched gun yet. And we're going to get Panzer next round, too. But, hey, we can just go shoot this real quick. Boom, done. End this round. Uh, we've got a nuke. That helps. Good timing for a nuke for once. Let's go. Okay, Panzer, where you at, bro? Come on, spawn in already, you little bitch. Oh, here we go. I hear him. He's gonna land on my face, isn't he? Oh, yep, here he is. So I just don't want to get hooked by him. I'm, I'm not even gonna risk using that. I'll just... I'll use the goddamn staff on him. Yeah, there we go. He's dead already. Like, don't even risk it, man. Just just use a staff. But the Remington, it, it is putting in some work, you know? When it actually hits its shots. Oh, there we go. What did we get? Oh, we got a double points. Ah, uh, gimme. There we go. And a carpenter. I'll take it, I suppose. 
Um, that was a lot of slaps. Thank God we're playing Cold War because we would have just died there. Pew, pew, pew. That will never not be satisfying. We can almost afford Packet Punch. That's huge. And we've got an insta kill. And we have exactly one zombie left. That's typical. We only need the fire disc, actually. And we can go and build that fire staff as well. So maybe we upgrade that after. Boom. We've got all three packet punches here. So all the way to 30,000. Tier 3 will be broken. Oh my god. The name is so long that the color doesn't even like fully fit on the, on the thing. That's kind of funny. Right. What did I come over here for? Oh yeah. The fire disc. It's not here, which means it's probably it's not leaning up against here ah oh, here we go there it is i'm actually gonna go and pick up the gramophone because i'm a dum dum and we don't need the ice bunker anymore and it's like really out of the way so it's kind of inconvenient oh here we go pack a punch shotgun does the the obliterating thing where it just disintegrates the zombies i love that man that whole aesthetic just the animation looks so clean like watch look they just evaporate bro it's so good. It's why I've always been a shotgun enjoyer in zombies. Like, even when I know in Cold War, shotguns are pretty broken. In Black Ops 3, shotguns are pretty strong too. But I always enjoyed them, like, before. You know, all the way back in Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. And not just in zombies, in multiplayer as well, obviously. Um, where is the fire bunker? It's by Gen 2, right? Because we can go in that way, get the crystal, build the fire staff, and fill up our ice staff to upgrade it. Yeah, here we go. Fire bunker. Not having to build a shield is pretty nice, not going to lie. It saves a lot of time. Here's where we go down. Just kidding. We have Ether Shroud. We should be fine. Come on. Build faster, though. Grab this crystal. Done. And then we'll go place our ice staff in here. So all kills we get should fill this up, then. We can simultaneously do all of the staffs at once. But I just think while we're upgrading the fire staff, it might be better to have it, like, within reach. Oh, yeah. For the first step of the fire staff, we have to, like, stand here and fill up these. Oh, that's what we could be doing right now. Oh, and we've got to go back anyway. The stupid... Bastards are going to turn off my fucking thing. I'm going to run back to the goddamn spawn. Without my staff as well, which is just great. It's just brilliant. Actually, where even is that? Oh, is that Gen 3? Please tell me it's Gen 3. That'd be so much easier to deal with. Nope, it's not. I can't even see how close they are. I think it's Gen 5. Yep, it's gone. Oh, you are bastards. Yeah, come here, you swines. Yeah, take turning off my generators, you little... Rats. Now I've got to spend ages getting this again. Buy another perk. We got stamina up. That's huge because, well, on this map, stamina up is like a crutch perk. Oh, and there's one more over there? Are you serious? I must have missed one. All right, there we go. It's filled up. This bastard, did he run to Gen 3? Where is that? He did. He ran all the way to Gen 3. You little bastard. I'll throw a grenade. See if that can hit him. Oh, I did it. Let's go. I think I think I saved it. I just want to go build my goddamn staff, bro. Also turn all of these to red because it makes it easier. Yep, those three are red. Craft the fire step. Oh, it doesn't craft faster, but the animation's faster, I guess. So there's that. Boom, fire step. I always loved the fire step. It's just, didn't it like have an issue where it would cause crashes on later rounds or something? Aesthetically, it looks cool as fuck though. Now let's go and go into, I think the wind bunker will be fine. It's one of the closer ones anyway, so we haven't even used the Maxis drone yet. I don't know what we need to press to use him. Is it probably like three or something? Oh, the gramophone is still placed in the fire bunk. Oh my god. Thank god for stamina up and cold war running because <laughs> look at this. Mud? Nah, this ain't no mud. This is like regular ground. This is fucking insane. Look how fast we run. This is... This makes this map so much more enjoyable because I love Origins, don't get me wrong, but it takes an awful long time to do some basic stuff just because of the mud and how big the map is. Right, now we just stand here and fill up these bucket things until they're all on fire, I think. And then we can also fill up our ice staff, which is good. Boom, that's one done. Oh no, two two done? Three done? I think it's just one. I don't know, I can't tell. Yep, there we go. Ice staff's done. I heard the quote. X fill is now available. So yeah, every like five, ten rounds, we get to X fill, which is pretty cool. It starts after round. 10 and we have to keep on killing because i'm pretty sure they'll run out if we don't uh, do it fast enough we just have to stand on this like grid thing yeah there we go we've got four done we're nearly done come on like one more zombie yeah there we go all four are done yeah there's the quote noise okay now we have to do the the dreaded like gen 6 step which a lot of people hate i've never had too much of an issue with it but i mean there's me jinxing it i'm probably gonna end up fucking it up now only one way to find out then i guess pick up this gramophone just so it's not out the way again uh we can quickly go and buy another perk as well if we can get double tap that'd be nice uh oh i'm stupid i'm, I'm trying to buy it from speed cola it's right here here we go phd okay and we've actually just got our free perk i think because if you spend a certain amount of points you get like a free perk it's funny because phd was actually already on origins but because of how broken the staffs are 
it doesn't really matter too much. Like everyone overlooks it because, oh, well, it doesn't matter, does it? Just use a staff. Why would you use like, you know, there's no Mustang and Sally. Oh my God, that explosion. I forgot. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, we've got this bloody step. Really quickly, I'm going to go get double tap though. Uh, we're also going to dig this. No, we're trying to get that golden shovel, but not quite yet. Is it this one? Yeah, here we go. We've got free double tap. Let's go, dude. Save us having to buy, like, you know, the perks get very expensive on Cold War. I'm also going to get down to, like, one zombie, I think. Unless this is the only zombie. It might be. Shit, I think it is. Okay. Well, we've got... Oh, God. How does this work again? One, two... Oh, Jesus. So, I think... Is it the, the lit up ones are the ones we don't do? Oh, there's two zombies. Okay. i to find a way to kill one of you without killing the other. Oh, it's going to be so difficult. They're both, like, right on top of each other, damn it. There we go. I think... Okay. We've got zombie blood. We can just do this. Um, so, is it the lit up ones we don't do? So, it's one, zero, two. That's 11. So, 11... Oh, no. Oh, okay. So it's 11 is the... What's this? We have to do 11, nine. Oh, the round ended. Okay. 11, nine, three. Wait, no. What's this one? 11, nine, six. Where's the, where's the symbol for this one? Let's not have one. 11, nine, six, and then four. I guess, is it four every single time or something? Oh, we've got a bloody panzer spawning. We've had the way, bro. I'm not interested in you. Just get absolutely demolished. 11, nine, six, four, I think is the code, but I want to... I've got to keep a zombie at the end of the round again so we can do it safely. Or do we just say, fuck it, dude? We just... Screw it, man. 11, nine, six, four. Oh, I see the six over there. Okay, I think that's the last one, probably. 11, nine, six, four. Doing it with the tank is a little bit annoying. Uh, 11, nine, six. Where is four? Where is four? Is four this one? Or where is it? There's like a blood torch, I think. Is it that one? This one doesn't have a number, so I assume that one's four, right? Um, well, considering that nothing happened, I'm guessing we did it wrong. Should I try it with like the lit up ones? This would be um, five, five, seven, three, five, seven, three, four, five, seven, three, four, maybe? Five. Seven, three, I think that's four, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, I did it the wrong way around. It's for colored ones. I'm st I'm so stupid. Okay. I think we'll settle with just the fire staff, you know, and the ice staff because we don't really need anything else after that. Uh, do we have Packet Punch unlocked? We do. Okay, good, good, good. We'll just work on getting more perks, then, I guess. And uh, upgrading our weapon. Oh, yeah, we've got to, um, where's the last one? I think it's this one. Oh, no, I'm fucking stupid. It's the wrong one. Which one's the bottom one? It's gotta be like really low down or something. Oh, here it is. I'm stupid. I'm, I somehow missed that. Okay, here we go. Explosion. Boom. That's done. Now let's actually go to Gen 6 and go buy another perk and also upgrade our salvage stuff since we can do both at once. God, Origins with the setup time, bro. Holy shit. Um, so we want to get armor next. I think armor is probably the play. Yep, there we go. We can't afford that. And then, oh, we can randomize attachments. That's neat. But yeah, we don't have 500 high-grade salvage just yet. Give me this perk. We've got Mule Kick. That's actually pretty good because Cold War Mule Kick gives you, like, ammo drops off the floor. So I wonder if we get it for the staff. Okay, let's just end the round since we have no reason to really keep on uh, the, the, the round or whatever, I guess. So we want to place the fire staff into... Where is it? It's here. There we go. Boom. And then give me my ice staff. We have an ammo crate in here, which is nice because it makes it a little bit impossible to train or like survive in the Agarthan place because yeah, there's a wall by for the AK, but there's no way to get ammo really. And we've got our ice staff. Boom. Game just goes easy mode because we can just stand still. Oh, we're getting every single drop in existence. Carpenter, insta kill. Animax ammo. Oh my god, we're literally getting everything. Yep, there we go. Fire staff's done. Um, do we keep the ice staff in here? Honestly, we can. Let's store it here. Give me my fire staff. Give me the f there we go. Jesus. <laughs> Took long enough. Fire staff looks so fucking cool. I think we'll exit through the wind tunnel. Oh, never mind. We can't. We haven't been in there once. Right. I forgot that was a thing. Okay, dude. Let's see. Can we pull out the Max's drone? I don't know what the button is. Oh, here we go. Two. Go on, Max's drone. Kill him. I, I never use him, so I, I have no idea what he's even going to do. Go, boy, go. I'm going to shut down the fucking lava thing. It's Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, so when the zombie blood runs out, I'm gonna have a look and see. Can we actually get ammo drops from the zombies? Come on, Max's drone. Stop stealing all my kills. Okay, we're at 114 right now. Any ammo, any ammo, any ammo. 120, yeah, we do. <laughs> That's so broken, bro. Because we can literally just sit still and keep on getting ammo back. Oh, we got these bastards again. Oh, man. Fine, bro. I'll go back and I'll go defend my stupid fucking thing. All right, where are they at then, huh? 
Let's pick up the gramophone, so I don't know which one we're gonna go to next. Where are you attacking, huh? Looks like, oh, looks like all the way back at bloody spawn. That's typical. Ah, screw it, dude. We'll go buy a random perk real quick. Uh, we got quick revive. Okay. Actually, not bad, because it increases our health regen, I think. Get the fuck off the generator! Can I shoot them from here? Oh, it's Gen 2. Never mind. Or Gen 1 or something. I haven't opened this door yet, so... Get off! Wait, what? Where'd they go? Oh, they're down here. What the fuck are they doing? They're, like, glitched. Nice, okay, we've got a max. Um, that was strange. <laughs> I, I don't know what that was about. Just sit still with the double points. We've got our perk right there, which is nice. Gimme, gimme. What's this one gonna be? Tombstone? Apparently it's broken in this, but I don't know if that's necessarily true. We just have, like, permanent full ammo. It's great. Oh, and we got our golden shovel as well. Let's go. We can get more perk slots. Oh, wait. We don't need them. Oh, did one of the generators turn off? Which one? Oh, for God's sake. Was it Gen 5? Where where was it? Oh, the stupid foot's coming. Can I outrun the foot is the question. I think I can. Yeah, I'm, I'm too fast, bro. You can't. Nope, it wasn't this one anyway. I mean, if I was to hazard a guess, it's probably just going to be like Gen 3. Oh, we've got a zombie blood. Oh, let me just look out for these uh, dig sites. Nope, this one's turned on. It must have been Gen 1 then. Oh, yeah, it was Gen 1. Bloody... Okay, typical. Boom, give me that salvage. The beauty of killing these guys, because it actually gives me stuff. There we go. It just looks so much better now. I wanted to I wanted to get a thumbnail, and uh, it wasn't like, you know, all turned on and looked cool, so... Well, now we just continue on. I mean, we've got exfil available. Let's try and max out all the perks, and then after that, we'll exfil on whatever round we get to. Do we just stand by Jug and just fucking, like... Right click on our, uh, or left click on our staff and just AFK for the rest of the game. That's basically what you do on this. Oh, we've got a panzer. Oh, terrifying, bro. I'm so scared. Please don't spawn a panzer on my head. Oh, no. The panzer sold that. One shot, two shot, and you're gone. Oh, that was scary, wasn't it? Have we got a nuke? Let's go. What's this perk going to be? Oh, we don't quite have enough yet. Give me that lightning staff part. We got elemental pop. That's kind of sick. I think it'll proc on our staff kills, like it should do. So if we kill a few with this, yeah, there we go. We got a turn zombie. Go turned. X feel no longer available. That was a very quick round, huh? Haven't even double pack a punched our weapon yet, or even triple pack a punched, but we totally can. It's a shame there's no alternate ammo types, but I mean, you get elemental pop. The map creator was basically at their limit for what they could add. So, you know, it's kind of fair enough. Oh yeah, we get a one-hit melee, right? Yeah, there we go, with the uh, staff. And almost afford our last perk. Just a round done. Oh my god, we've had snow for like five rounds in a row. What the hell? I'm not complaining, because I think the snow looks so much better. Well, here we go. This should be our last perk then. Yep, there we go. Uh, 7,000, we got dead shot. I think that's all of them, unless I'm dumb. Uh, yeah, we can't buy any more, which is nice. Let's use our Remington a little bit. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, we have a double point, so that's good. Just look at this. Oh my god, obliterating them. Only sad thing is, you know, okay, there we go, we've got a turn. I think the turn gives us points as well, which is nice. Oh, a max ammo? Gimme, gimme, don't mind if I do. We could try and fill up these, uh, little boxes, actually. We don't have to, you know, for the fists, but... Oh, I'm stupid. Earlier I said it was for the fists. No, the, the things for the G-Strike grenades. Never mind, dude. I'll go and protect the thing. Oh, get off my generators. These little rats think they can take what's mine. Yeah, get the fuck off there, buddy. That was easy. Got a nice max ammo for free, of course. We've got an ammo drop right in this corner, which is nice. We could just sit here and buy ammo if needed, but we have mule kick. We don't need to. We could literally just spam it. Like, we don't even have to be conservative with ammo. It's great. Like, look, we're still at full ammo, basically. It's just absurd, man. This is just crazy. And if we need to, you know, we've got a free max ammo here anyway, so... Like, it's just, it's just kind of funny. We can go and get our second tier of pack a punch. Oh look, turn zombie. What's up, bro? Why is he hitting me? Stop slapping me, bro. You're a friendly turned, man. No, he died. Well, I mean, that's what you get for trying to like slap me to death, I suppose. You're supposed to be on my side, dude. We have our Maxis train back. Oh, you have to go and pick him up again, don't you? Still not got the golden shovel, which I'm surprised about. I won't lie, like, I haven't really mentioned this, but the fact they get rid of the animations for like upgrading your weapons, like, look, you don't have to put it in the pack a punch machine. It is a little bit disappointing. Like, it would be kind of cool if you just, you know, did all that. That's what Cold War was sort of missing, was the authenticity aspect. All right, let's, like, fill up this box instantly, basically. Here we go. Turn. Does turn count? Hopefully it does. Oh, fire staff actually kills the turn zombies. Oops. Like, it just straight up one shot him. Poor guy. Get a carpenter. Refills our armor, which is really nice. That's a round done. We didn't actually fill it up. Okay. Well, I thought that would have been enough, but no. Let's see if we can upgrade our things. I mean, we can upgrade our armor again. Yeah, here we go. Boom. And then we can up... Yeah, there we go. We have full armor now. 
I don't know what the Remington does against him. Tier 2 pack a punch. Yeah, it kind of shit on him, not gonna lie. Oh, we got an ammo clip. Boom. Let me just get 12 ammo back. Ridiculous. Oh, I'm almost in danger. What? Hello? Is the staff gonna work? The staff's like weirdly not um firing sometimes. Hey, we're fine, we're fine, we're good, we're good. Get more ammo. Oh, yep, yeah, full ammo again. Nice and easy, I suppose. I mean, we might as well just stand here because we're really, really close to getting our legendary tier weapon. And then that's basically everything we can get from this, as well as tier three pack a punch. Like we can just sit in this corner. We've got a bit of max ammo. We've got a fire staff going. We're all chilling. Imagine if Origins was actually on Cold War, though. It would just be so easy. I mean, I am barely trying at all right now. Weird flicks, but okay. Yeah, but like genuinely, you don't have to use much of a brain to be able to do this. It's just the setup time is pretty long on uh, on Origins, of course. But you know, that's just. It's just, it is what it is. Might as well just fire the uh, the regular shot, to be honest. Well, that's the round done. We've got 550, like, high grade. And we need 1,000 total, so we just need an extra 500 to be able to upgrade this. Ow, where did you come from, dude? Getting so much salvage here. Not, like, too much high grade, unfortunately. I was, I was hoping we'd get a bit more, but it's fine. We've got double points. We can almost get tier 3 pack. <laughs> and we've only gone down, like, 6 ammo in our staff. Just... Holy crap, dude. Oh, they're taking the generators, are they? Wait, which ones? It's not this one. It's not telling me. Oh, it's all the way over there. Oh, fuck them, dude. I don't care. Actually, no, because I want pack a punch. Oh, you're such... Right as I'm about to, like, basically finish everything in this map. Also, you're going to be a dick now. Oh, well, we've actually got 30k. If we could quickly run to the pack a punch, we could do it. And then we just don't care. Can we do it in time is the question. Nope, they just took it for fuck. I was right there, dude. Oh, you are so annoying. Get your butts over here right now. I'm about to destroy you all. Yeah, get the fuck out. Yeah, go away, dude. What, such dicks. What? And there's, there's still more. Get the hell off, dude. Yeah, give me my goddamn max ammo. Uh, which generator did they take? It must have been generator three. Oh, we've got two dig sites. Yeah, I knew it. We were going to get that golden helmet soon. So now if we get stepped on by the robot, it actually doesn't matter, which is nice. God, look at this. Just pew, 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 pew. I can barely hear what I'm doing, but it's fine, you know. Well, now we have tier three Pack-a-Punch. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Tier three uh, with purple rarity, but I think it should be one-shotting. Yeah, it is. Which is nice. It basically makes any gun more or less viable. All we need now is high grade. Oh my god, they're sprinting fast. I forgot, they like made it so that the zombies sprint to keep up with Cold War stamina. Because otherwise, you know, it'd be a little bit unfair and of an advantage, you know. So if we could maybe get a thousand here, we can complete the whole game. We just get our weapon to fully max route rarity. And then we can exfil on the next round. Because it should be on 26, I think. Oh, we have a panzer. Oh, I'm terrified, bro. I'm so scared, dude. Don't, please, don't do anything. Oh, yeah, you're dead instantly. <laughs> I forgot how broken the fire staff is against the uh, the Panzer Soldier. I'm surprised there's no death perception. I thought it was on um, the Cold War mod, but I haven't seen it yet. And we can't buy any more perks, so I don't think it's on this map. I could have sworn it was on um, the Nuketown one we played. But, like, as you can see, we can't buy any more, uh, any more perks. So. Oh, yeah, we have PhD, so if we hold a grenade, we can just, like, kaboom, right? Boom. Yeah, it doesn't do any damage, but it's still cool. Oh, we got two double points. Nice. Okay, we can actually afford our thing. Maybe, maybe we get double salvage whenever we have double points. I don't think we do, but it's possible. All right, here we go. We also haven't got an exfil yet. I didn't see the prompt at the start of the round. So um, where am I going? Oh, it's over here, isn't it? I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Here we go. Boom. Gold tier Remington. Should be a one shot. Yep. Obliterating them all. Look at this bad boy go. Then you've got to reload and it's like, oh, okay, a little bit tragic. So I guess we'll just go and camp by the spawn until we can exfil then. God, you just run so fast. I love it to bits. Uh, oh, we can exfil. Oh, here we go. Boom, game over. You survived 26 rounds. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen where I actually played Nuketown Zombies with the Cold War mod. It was a lot of fun. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.